Hello and welcome everyone to uh, this week's Weekend Warriors Racing League uh, race at New Hampshire, completed on October 24th. Um, got a good qualifying effort from us this week. This was a really big week for uh, for me. Missed the past two races, so I had to make sure I ran um, well and got some kind of points today. Um, so we qualified second. Not too bad from us for being two weeks off. Haven't touched this game in a long time. So I had no practice either before the qualifying effort, so I was happy to get up a second. Didn't really expect myself to win today. Just wanted to get top five. That was the big goal. And qualifying second really helped my confidence early. But, you know, you'll see here in a second. It's not going to be an easy day for us um, already. You know, we get into the first corner, get a little bit of bump, and get another bump, and get another bump, and he's still on us. And then we get the big bump and throw us right to the wall. And now I'm like, great, this is this is going great for us. And we get hit again right there, um, thrown into the wall. And we get one more right there. So we've got three hits, four hits-ish, in the first four corners. So then we get our first caution of the day. You know, we're back in the pack now after the contact after the first lap. And we got some work to do to get back up there. Um, a lot of these guys, there's a, new, a lot of new people in this league um, in the past two weeks apparently that I haven't got the race with. And one of them is this guy, I believe, that I accidentally hit right there. Did not even realize I did that contact um, until I edited this video. Had no idea. Um, and me and him had some run-ins during the race. So I do not know if it was from that, if he was upset with that and kept hitting me during the race or what. Um, but you can see here, we're still getting hit. We, I mean, we are getting dogged around in the first stage of this race. Um, right there, we even get contact from a lap car coming off pit road, just getting into us. Um, we're able to avoid that damage, like fixable damage there, because the caution came out before we T-boned the 42, I believe it was. Um, but then we get our next caution. That was the first big wreck of the day. Um, the only one that we were really involved in. And you see there again, just getting hit into the corner. Really, we're all just trying, I mean, it's a stopped corner there. You're just trying to get, you know, into the corner without getting any damage and without hurting anyone, just get the race on with. And you can see here the 13 just does not want to be patient at all. And um, yeah, see, I chopped his nose there just to tell him I was not happy with the fact that he was doing that. But then the one later in the stage gets loose as we're trying to make our way back up there. And we T-bone him, there's nothing we can do do and you can hear me on the uh, you hear my me flip my mic down and um, <laughs> in a not so happy mood um, of, I wasn't mad at the one there and I'm still not it was just kind of unfortunate that he happened to spin around and sit in the middle of the racetrack he did everything right there he um, um, locked down the car I just couldn't get out of the way and that was cause caution um, but you see there in the next restart still getting hit around still getting hit around um, still getting hit around there um, my car's basically stopped and I'm still getting hit and then we you know we're back in 15th or whatever we were and I just rode around the stage for no reason because I was not gonna pit here um, I just pitted for tires you can see I've only lost 3% on the right side on each you know I was taking care of them um, so we lost stage points in stage one but it's okay because we got the track position now and all I want now for stage two is for it to go smoothly as possible without getting hit really. That was my main goal. And the second main goal was to at least get about five points out of the stage. And you can see there, um, they're messing around the back. It's a mess. Once you got past about fifth place on these restarts, it was a mess back there. You were just constantly getting hit. And you can see they're not a wreck because of that. But um, we got the lead now. We're, you know, we're back where we want to be, up in the front of the pack, away from all the wrecking that's going on and the dive bombing. And um, we're going to lose the lead here, I believe, to the uh, number 11, unless we keep it, which I don't know if we do here. Um, there's death in the 22. I mean, I have had a lot of close racing this year. And you see me just get on the brakes really, really late there, trying to just. Um, I didn't want to get hit by the 22. For one, and I didn't want to uh, mess up the 11 
um, and then got into the wall, but it went bad. Um, and you can see we fall back here as the stage goes on, but that's because I made some adjustments that hurt my short end speed, but really, really helped on the long end, and you know, it helped us a lot once we got into older tires. You can see there, um, the one, you know, blocked, um, blocked, I believe it was Sniper, um, all the way down basically to the white line, and you know, at that point, you're kind of asking it gets sent there, which he ended up did. But CD8 gets into us there while we're on old tires, and I accidentally um, allowed 22 to get into us, which I didn't mean to. He was on fresh tires, we were on old tires. Um, but then the caution came out, and the caution comes out. We got to trap a lot of people lap down, um, and there's about just there's not that much left in stage two here. And with how many people there were lap down, it'd be a real shame. I knew if I didn't get top five here in this stage and get some points. So that's all I'm trying to do here is protect that stage, those stage points. Um, not concerned about the finishing position right now or you know tire wear or anything or how much I'm going to conserve for later in the run. We've got 13 laps and you see the 8 gets into us again there, um, which happened quite a bit that race. Um, but, you know, we're just trying to get as many stage points as possible because I know I didn't get any stage one. So, another caution came out. We um, pitted. Not many people did pit. That was only that, but I was one of them because I wanted to make sure I had the best possible um, tires to go to. Plus, I was like fifth or something. So, I wasn't dropping that many places. I was dropping like two or three, I think. And um, you see we pick off one right there. 13 got loose. Had to step out of it. We were able to get by him. Get up to six, and then they're gonna wreck again here. The front people do, and that's gonna give us another caution, <laughs> and then it's gonna give us two laps um, to set out the stage. So we restart fourth. We don't pit that time because if we're gonna pit, we're gonna drop back more. Than we would have, and then the top, the ten, you see there, dive bombs us, um, moves up the hill, um, and now we got lap and a half to go. We went from 4th to 7th again, so again the outside lane just not doing good for us and then you can see the 10 and 8 um, finally finally get each other there um, about how far they were diving down to the corner and they finally end up wrecking each other. So we got 4th in that stage, um, you can see what everyone else got, a lot of people, a few people um, lagged out um, or just left, I don't really know what exactly happened, I know the 22 lagged out. Um, and a, a lot of people that are lapped down. Um, so now it's really about protecting. At this point, I'm thinking anything other than top five with how good the car feels and how good I'm running um, whenever I'm not getting hit. Anything other than top five is a real shame for today. And you can see here, for a lot of laps, um, me and uh, Lord, who's in the number one, ran one, two for a long time. Um, a really, really long time we did that. And it was nice, you know, until the caution came out and bunched us all together. But I really got to see how fast I was whenever I was in clean air. And whenever I wasn't, you know, getting worrying about getting hit going into the corner. Because every restart and every, you know, time I had someone behind me, I was constantly worried about getting shoved into the corner. Um, which, you know, definitely hurts your exit when you have to shove it in the corner. It definitely hurts you rotating in the corner. Um, but you can see here another caution. Now it's going to be cautions, cautions, cautions all the way. Um, getting down to the end of the race, people are not the least bit patient, even if they weren't patient in the first bit. Now they're even less patient, even though they didn't have any patience. Um, so now, I'm, now all I'm doing is just trying to protect top five. Um, I know I'm not better than the one. Lord was amazingly fast this race. Um, there was no way I could touch him. Um, I'm surprised I was able to hold within three and a half seconds of them on the long run instead of falling back even more. Um, you see here, it's just one of the late race restarts, you're getting hit constantly. And then a caution came out, and everyone in the lead lap pitted except for me and the 11, because um, I assumed that it would be better off to stay out there, keep my second or third or whatever I would get, and surely I wouldn't fall more than five places until that happened. Yeah, and then there, yep. And we get kind of we can we get kind of messed up a little bit here on this last uh, one of these last restarts here, and it is 
not fun for us. We do not. I was hope I wasn't planning on gaining positions. All I was doing, because I figured the one would catch us um, within a few laps. All I was trying to do was protect my top five, and new trying position would help that instead of getting pushed back in the pack um, and getting hit around, which I figured would happen. Um, I just didn't assume that I would get punted on the first corner again like I did um, at the beginning of the race. So, you see here, we're not that many laps to go. I'm trying to get out of the way from, you know, contact and from people shoving me up in the racetrack, which all these people, you know, for the most part, um, I believe Sniper was faster than me for at least half the race. But a lot of these people I was ahead of for a lot of the race and now they're just seeing me and they're just, you know, pushing me up the racetrack to get me out of the way and keep moving on and um, you can see there the 10 goes underneath Sniper, moves him way up the racetrack to get that spot, Sniper loses two spots. Um, and the 8 moves the 2 up to the wall, and then Sniper ends up moving the 8 because of, you know, what's been going on. Then I get moved by the 4, um, and now I'm down to 10th, and I'm about to get passed again for 11th, and you see there I got passed. And now it's the last lap. All I want is to maybe get top 10, salvage something, and, you know, he does a good job protecting his spot. Touched me a little bit, that's okay. You know, it's the last lap. It's all good. He didn't wreck me. Um, we just raced hard for it, <laughs> hard for 11th, which is, you know, hard to imagine how that race went from starting second, falling back, getting up to second again, running second the whole last stage until the cautions, and then in the last restart, going from the top five um, and out. And you can hear me there commenting about how everyone was saying good race, and I was not hearing it. I was not having it. But um, overall, got Auto Club next week. Um, got to get more points there. Got to get um, points in every stage and get a top five out that we can get some points back from where our point position is. Um, but thank you all for listening. This is the Weekend Warriors Racing League, and we'll see you all next week.